Welcome to the After Show. I am your host, Garvey Marcus. We're here in the studio with Alberta the Exception. She is our guest today. We have, of course, the reliable Richard Moore. What's up, y'all? Hey. Hey. So, Alberta. Yeah. How's it going? How you doing? I'm great. I'm you're, great. You're great. I'm very happy to be here. Yeah. Beautiful oh, man. smile, young Thank lady. You. <laughs> Girl. Ain't no happy blushing Girl, right boo boo. Yeah, Ain't both of y'all married? Mm-hmm. I can I'm say. not married. Oh. Yeah. My eyes yeah. is. I, well, I, I, I got to put that on eyes <laughs> is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll get back to the questions. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Alberta. Yeah. How did you get into stand-up comedy? Um, I got into stand-up comedy. Uh, basically, I just always wanted to do it, but I, I had like severe stage fright. Like, real bad. Yeah. yeah. So, a friend of mine, Kalana Sp- Spiller. Uh, oh. Yeah, so that's a friend of mine. She, uh, We played football together. So. <gasps> oh, my God. I told you. I told you, didn't I? I oh, told my God. You, I yeah. told you. I wanted to say something about that. I'll just. Did you? Yeah, because I said, I said, she played football. I'm yeah. Like, Ooh, she'll run your ass over. Yeah, we played, yeah. We played football for a long time. And, and, like, whenever she got ready to get into comedy, I was like, man, I want to get in it, too. Right. But, like, I'm a Virgo, so I'm, like, a perfectionist. So, I'm like, yeah. I want to know how to do it. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. Step by step. Okay. So, I ended up going to Dallas Comedy House. Um, so that I could kind of, you know, learn a little bit more about it and mm-hmm. then, um, you know, kind of get over my stage fright. Yeah. Um, so it took me a little little while longer to, to get out there. And then really, Derek Jack really helped me uh, get on he know, was as in far the, as structure. He was in the class? Or no, he no. I ended up meeting it? him like when I was going to open mics at, uh, at the, the when the Arlington Improv was having open mics. Yeah. Okay. I met him up there and then like he kind of pulled me to the side. I was like, hey, you got some meaty material. Right. You know, like, you know, I could show you how to structure that. And. It's been, that was it, it, yeah, because other than it's that, just been blossoming yeah, there since then, yeah right. other than that, I was just like, I ain't know, I was just like throwing the kitchen sink <laughs> in there, like, oh, okay, I like this, this is funny to me, you know what I mean? But I didn't know how to, you know, break it down, and you right. know what I mean. So, so yeah, he really helped help me blossom. Like that, y'all yeah, see, I, I learned that word yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blossom, good blossom, job, good job. <laughs> Word of the day is blossom. So what? Blossom. <laughs> so how was you say you had stage fright? You say oh, yeah. how did? I would imagine. Tackling the hell out of people, right? Kind of <laughs> so, okay. Take away from I don't mean take away from go ahead, go ahead. What position did you play? Oh man, I played uh, I started out playing corner, then I'm a free safety, then I, then I played mm-hmm. wide receiver, I played some running back, man, like, I'm third awesome. string quarterback. You know, what I mean, like, I you have no wide, you have <laughs> no return wide. to kickoff return. I'm all you this. We talked about you, mm-hmm. and I was like, I don't know what position you play, but you probably play corner, yeah. running back, yeah, and a little bit of uh, 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 was uh, the dude that thought about. Quarterback. Quarterback. quarterback, yeah, yeah I, quarterback. I, I, I yeah, know you yeah, played yeah. a little bit of yeah. some of those. Yeah, I said. I was all, yeah, all of those, okay. all of those. Yeah, uh, that's your question, sir. I was not well because I was telling him he said you play football. I was like, that makes sense because she was doing stand up. I was like, I don't want to heckle you not right now because she gonna come off that stage with a flying uppercut. Oh yeah, yeah, be, yeah. Hey, yeah. my specialty was de cleaning so, you know I mean? like, Yeah, yeah. On offense, I loved it when I was uh, when I played wide receiver. Oh man, you like that? I up? love Lee Black, Lee blocking. Oh man, like. It's uh, small as I am, you would think I'm talking about deep. Boo, they ain't see me coming. Well, you got the center of gravity. Yeah, that was like, yeah, exactly, exactly. And momentum with center of, uh, center of gravity. Oh, man, man, I wish I could have seen that. Oh, man, it's beautiful. I'd pay it's money for that thing. right like, now. Like I, for I, me, like if I didn't get a touchdown that game, but I got one of them, I'm, uh-huh. yeah. I'm good. Okay, so, <laughs> good. so we could do a, a practice test dummy then tackle today on Garvey? Okay. Okay, right. thank you. Okay. Ready? You got a mouthpiece for me? No, I'm Okay, I need a mouthpiece, you know what I mean? You know, I, I, I like to call protocol. the police. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Concussion protocol. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm sorry. Back to the question. <laughs> no. <laughs> no <laughs> these, are, these are good stuff. So you say the first the first comic you met was... Uh, Basically... Kilana. Well, that I really, really... That I knew, you know what I mean? Other yeah. than that, actually, Q, the comedian, was actually the first comic that I met. Okay. So y'all know Q? I haven't met Q. Really? No, yeah. I have not. DJ Spinderella. Beyonce? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, he was the first comic in Dallas that I met. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Shout out to Q. Q, yeah. I'm sorry, brother. Shout I don't know Q. who he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would like to meet you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Q, the comedian. Okay. 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 That's what's up. That's All what's right. up. All right. So, I guess that's on me then. Uh, what would be the next question since Garvey's though? My question. The next question would be... Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm black. Oh. <laughs> Enough said. Okay, the next wow. question is, how would you like to be remembered as a comedian? Um, I want to be remembered as somebody that was really genuine. You know what I mean? Like, right. you you, you know me as, like, that's Berta. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, she's not trying to be nobody else. She's being herself. You okay. know what I mean? And, and as somebody that actually pulls other people 
up you know what right, i mean like right, i'm not yeah. a person that you know just kind of you know looks down on nobody like i i keep my eye open and i'm always watching people right. so i i know whenever i get to the level that i see myself going uh-huh. that i'm gonna reach back and pull somebody up you know what i mean and, right you know i plan on putting people on in dallas you know right. so oh, that's gotcha. you know that's what i want to be known for is uh, people well, on. how do you translate that sorry how do you translate that to your uh to your joke writing to the actual building of the act though wow, like your question Oh, as far as uh, being remembered? Oh, well, I mean, really, for that question, then, like, I would, as far as joke writing, I want to be looked at as, like, you know, I'm that homegirl. You know what I mean? Like, that cool homegirl. Like, so so that's where my, and to put it in a correlation with my joke writing, that's how I write. You know what I mean? Like, just, you know, I'm a down-to-earth type of person. Somebody that you would want to, like, kick it with. You know what I mean? So you, you, in high school, you kick the more males than females yeah yeah okay. i got a select few of people that i it, right interact with anyways but you know i would have a few home you know best friends that right. are females That's and females. then but yeah mostly most I, I vibe real well with dudes okay so yeah. okay. okay so here is you. a very offensive question <laughs> those females that you would uh, hang out with uh select few yeah did they have a, pr- a particular proclivity for uh, a specific gender uh yeah they like Penis. Yes. Uh, yeah. The, oh, well, but, yeah. <laughs> back then. But uh, no, not, not just back then. But, but I mean, but now I do have a lot of friends that, you know, are all all chicks, no sticks as I. Oh, really? Put it. Yeah. And, and the the word proclivity just. <laughs> yeah. You almost said it right. You almost. <laughs> I, I was almost there. Yeah, right? I was almost I, there, I was, but I knew what you was talking about. You know what I was talking about? Yeah. You just do the question there all day today, brother, because I don't. <laughs> No, you good. Could, you no. good. It was good. I felt it. It just, just like got caught on the inside part but of it. That brother said. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's all right. That's a word. People use that. <laughs> yeah, Google it. I will today. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I will today. <laughs> Proclivity. Goodness gracious, Mr. Garvey. You no, know, you had something else to ask uh, no, Alberta, I, too. I, I, yeah. Okay. Oh. But I did have a question. Yeah. And the uh, being remembered, and uh, you said Jack, help you with your structure. Yeah. Now, with that being said, does that take away from being you as being the structure? Mm. That's you know what I'm saying. Like, mm. it's to us. Nah. You know what I'm. I, yeah, I can't nah, get the I see word like saying, proclivity, like, but. <laughs> 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 no. So so basically, what uh what what Derek Jack did was um he showed me how to use my own material and okay. how to structure it in a in a way where it flows. You know what I mean? So nah, that's what I mean by by structure gotcha. because before then I didn't really know how you know like dang like i know i got all this material because right. i've been wanting to do it for so long i just right. didn't know how to actually right, write yeah. my jokes and structure them where they flow what you so know? so you mean like you would like do transitions and stuff yeah, like that yeah he i didn't know how to do transitions and oh, stuff yeah. like that you know oh, okay. and, and okay. really uh cutting down my um what they call know. it fat yeah cutting the fat yeah, yeah right. exactly for all sure. of that yeah right. so so he showed okay. me that so no it just really enhanced what i had and then he showed me you know you can take that and then you can add to it and you know build build upon it you know what i mean so right. then i'm like and it, it really even helped me with um you know old jokes that i had i'm like dang okay now i know how i could throw this in yeah. here right, and make right. this bigger and then you know expand expand my it. set you but know, that's gonna keep that. happening too that's right. the oh, yeah. crazy it's, part it's, about it's, it yeah. exactly it's, always, it's a constant it's a, exactly it's a constant expansion of your your joke the old joke and yeah, you can exactly. tell in so many forms and fashion of any industry that you're in or any environment that you're in any Absolutely. audience yeah man that's beautiful i need no, to talk okay. to jack hey no, jack. Yeah. for real holla jack there jack I just matter of fact, I just recommended him to someone else that had reached out to me uh, last night about, you know, their structure. And I was right. like, hey, you know what? I can I can tell you and I give you feedback. I said, but Derek Jack is is who taught me how to do structure. And yeah. you know, like he's because I've, I've had people where I've asked whenever I was first getting into comedy, like, right. hey, how do you you know, I know I got my own jokes, but like, right. how do you do this? But and they can't tell you. It's, it's kind of like it's kind of like. Can you say that one more time? Yeah. Everybody can't tell you. <laughs> no. Yeah. no for, OK. I have a, some an acquaintance that I know. I learned acquaintance too, yeah. but uh, acquaintance that I know wanted to get into the game. Yeah, and he would, you know, hey, what about this? How do you write your jokes? I was like, bro, I can't tell you that. Yeah, you know, I don't. Well, you need to. You can't tell me. I said, no, I can't tell you that because I'm not good with structure, and at the same time, I don't know what you want to do and how you want to do it. To say it. Right. right. Yeah, exactly. So it's like you would have to. First, go to open mic to see what you got and see mm. where you're at. And at the same time, talk to someone that knows how to do a structure. Yeah. Because right. everybody's going to tell you something different. But at the same time, you can use those into 
and fuse them together and come exactly. up with you and come up with your thing right. so so yeah so basically i was just and i told him that i'm like you know what i can i can just give you feedback right. you know what i think could help you punch that up i said but really if you want to learn structure i said Derek jack is who i recommend because right. you know i've worked with some other people as well there's a guy um named uh boom he used to be steve harvey's um Body, uh, uh, bodyguard uh, bodyguard yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Did so, you hear the, okay so I'm whenever sorry. i whenever yeah. i first um really really started started going before i even met Derek jack i was introduced to him okay. and so he was able to help me show me how to cut the fat down right right um but there were certain things that he couldn't teach like structure that that i learned from Derek jack you know right. so so i was really blessed you know to be able to you know one boom helped me like he, he could throw out some premises out there and i could take them and run with them you know what i mean right and, and so like he threw out one premise and i built on that premise and just made the joke like this is one of my best jokes you know wow. what i mean so it was like you know people love that joke you know and yeah. it was like he just threw threw out a premise you know like and you went from there and then i was like damn let me add this on here and i bam and just like punched it up i was like oh man <laughs> well, that's, that's where the fun joke. that's yeah. where the fun of writing uh stand-up comes from because I, I do a bit about law and order or whatever like mm -hmm. blah, blah, i ain't gonna do the bit but that joke came from me and Furman just talking about random stuff outside the comedy club and i was like i'm writing that down yeah yeah no doubt <laughs> and and back to the you know what you were saying about you know your friend it's kind of like um everybody can't be a football coach you know what i mean like right just because you play football don't mean that you can coach it you know right. what i mean so yeah, right. it's the same thing you know with with comedy just because right. you because i was asking people and they're like oh man like you got a lot of material like you know what I mean? <laughs> or, or like hey just uh <laughs> Somebody told me, yeah, just write it like a monologue. I'm like, what is a monologue? Yeah, right. like, oh, like, I don't know. Yeah, so, yeah, we don't mess with that. Yeah, so it was, we it was just athletes. a blessing. Yeah, it was just a blessing, yeah. you know what I mean, to athletes run into. Awesome. Well, let me ask both of y'all something. Yeah, so, like, how much of, like, the high school English and, and writing classes and stuff do y'all even remember or? None. None? Uh, no, no, I, I aced English, but uh, yeah, I'm talking. About I had the hardest teacher like my junior really? year. Oh man, it was like Miss Bentley. How did you get an A in Miss Bentley class? I'm like, hey, what? Know. So how? So you don't utilize any of that information nah. whenever you're no, nah. no, nah, mm -hmm. I really don't. You know, but uh, one thing I do like with uh, with comedy, um, I like to use a lot of, and now I can't even think of the word because now that yeah, you mentioned it, you've been using all these big, big words. I'm, I've just been saying yeah, proclivity. I mean, and I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm intimidated. Look, I stopped the big well, word since I'm proclivity. Saying, I haven't I'm used saying, nothing. You use that one. I'm gonna use that one day. I haven't used accoutrement or nothing. Okay, next question. <laughs> uh, okay, this is the next question. Uh, yeah. Where was your first show at Miss Alberta? Uh, my first show was uh, cute, cute, the comedian. Plug okay. me in. Uh, my first show was at Taste of the Islands in Plano. Okay. Um, with uh, CJ Starr. And I was up there, like, I had my phone out. Like, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, I was like, look, that was how young. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I ain't know nothing. Like, I, I was like, okay, because my memory was super bad. Like, you know, I played football. I had, yeah, I had I concussions, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm glad so, you, you know, said it. He was in that Will like, Smith movie. So I was like, hey, <laughs> all right, I'm, so I can remember this. Plus being nervous, you know what I mean? Right. And, and so I had my phone out the whole time, and then, like, I – <laughs> I didn't really have no bait, no set, like you know what I'm saying, and uh, I didn't, yeah. I didn't know how to transition or you right. know any of that. So I was just out there, just and then like I had, <laughs> then I was like just throwing, I was writing and rewriting like all the way up until time, time for the show. Uh, you know what I'm saying, like just and writing and rewriting. And, and I'm like, oh, that was a B. I just had a uh, right. joke about B. Now. now I got a B joke. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, running from the B. I got. I know you want to do your proclivity, but. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, another question is, as far as, like you said, writing jokes. And most of the time, as a comedian, I'm just, uh, in my opinion, I be in my own head. Mm -hmm. And I'll write something down. Oh, yeah. And then, like how you said, you're like, man, I'm going to go back and change it. Mm -hmm. I don't think that sounds right. Yeah. But then, does it, does it actually depend on how you deliver your original joke that you think was good, and then you go back and change it? Well, uh, now I'm a little bit on a different level. I used to have to write everything down. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I wanted to write down, and I wanted to say my joke exactly how I wrote it down. You know what I mean? Right. So, like, that Virgo perfectionism, you know what I'm saying? So, right, I would write right. it, and then I would write, like, every feeling that I wanted to say, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> write it down, you know? And now, like, I can, I'm always in my head, too. Like, I okay. constantly, I'm always thinking about jokes. I'm, you know, thinking about how to, ooh, I can work this, you know right, what I mean? Right, right. Now, I don't put as much pressure on myself okay. uh, to to say it exactly you know what i mean i kind of know my 
my premise behind it and how I'm going to deliver it. And right. I'm always, I am always working on like, oh, okay, you know what? I can say this different. So mm-hmm. I do, you know, do that as well. You know, okay. like, okay, I can change this up. Like I'm saying the same thing, but I could put this emotion, you know what I mean? Behind it. Right. Yeah. There know? we go. Yeah. So, yeah and change what? it up. Or there facial expression. I'm right, big on right. facial expressions too. So okay. all of that, you doing that on stage? Like how much are y'all writing or building the set is you doing on the stage? Itself? Um, On the stage, you know what? Sometimes I, I'll throw an ad lib in there, right? And if mm-hmm. it work, then I'm putting it Put in it my set. set. You know, right, I'm like, right. oh, oh pie roast. Oh, okay, yeah, and you that works, right? I and that like worked. that. That right. worked. You know what I mean? It and, it, and so, so I'm not doing a lot of writing on most of the most of my stuff is already written before I get on on stage. You okay. know what I mean? Exactly. So, and then so, I'm just kind of, you know, just vibing from there. And then you know, I'm like, okay, well, let me change up this, you know, and and. You know, I can I can put a pause here. You know what I'm saying, and yeah. then make you do a facial expression right. while I'm. Right. You know what I'm saying, while I'm pause. Right. You know, and then just kind of build from there. But yeah, so sometimes, but it's very little. It's very few um, jokes that are written on stage. But when I do, you know, find something that's gold, like as an ad lib, mm-hmm. I, I've then included into my set. Well, how that's many times? Up. How many up. times have you done it to where like you made a mistake? And then you was like, man, that was hilarious. I'm going to keep that. Like some stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not that often, not as a mistake. You know what I'm saying? Like I might just like be in the moment. You know what I'm saying? And, right, and I wouldn't right. necessarily call it a mistake. I just say, you know, like I'm in the moment. I was vibing. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I was you, like, right. okay, let me throw this out there. Because so, so I did have a, yeah, I was like right. in the zone. You know right. what I mean? So. So just like I, I literally have a part where when I say pot roast, I really meant that. Like I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm referring to a younger dude. Like I was like, oh, you're a young tender. You know what I mean? Like, oh, uh, uh. <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? you know, you, you know, I was talking about like I like my meat season. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, but you, you a young tender. You know, you are. Yeah. You know, you know, you Girl, more you like quit now. you more like pot roast. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so yeah, so I did, and I'm like, oh, and the crowd was like, oh my god, right? You know? yeah. So I'm like, I'm gonna keep that. You know what That's what's yeah. up. That's yeah. what's up. That is beautiful. That's that's beautiful, man. Nice. How you be in that moment? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, okay, I'm sorry. You know okay. how when we play sports, you yeah. know, it's football oh. and basketball yeah. and stuff like that. And yeah. You know, especially if you hooping, you know, you hit one for one. The next thing you know, you end up you like 15 for 15. You like, yeah. man, man, where was you at, man? I was in the zone, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah I, exactly. I, like, like I didn't even see it the way you seen. It. I was just. I was doing me. I was yeah. having a good time. So I was like, boom, boom and you hitting it every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. You just you, you know, you're not thinking about it. You just vibing right. with it. You know, you just going with it, going with the flow, and just no resistance. Just just letting it flow. Yeah, I call that being in the vortex. Man, yeah. in, oh, the the, vortex. in the vortex. In the vortex. There goes another yeah. word. I saw today. I'm on that law of attraction. That's really happy. Okay, you know okay, okay, so, yeah. okay, yeah. okay. And then your vortex of yeah. uh, you know, because we're athletes. I don't yeah. know about this guy. He might be. Oh, he was like, okay. See, that's what I'm saying. I don't know about any trucks. <laughs> I'm not a part of this. Not athleticism. <laughs> what's up? That's beautiful. Okay, that's what's up. In the vortex. I like that one. Yeah. I'm going to use that one too. Yeah, I'm going to let you know yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, it's all good. I'm, you know, I'm going to use I don't know you how I'm going to use it. vortex. It's okay. But I'm you, dyslexic. It might you, come out as sorry. Vex or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> all right. it's all right. It might I'm not gonna come out as. You know, okay, thank you, bird. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you tell everybody in the crowd too. He meant vortex. He meant vortex, people. Thank you. Now, I was going to ask you, man, you ever had. A bad show. What was like the worst yeah. show? Like your. Yeah. Tell me about your worst <laughs> bomb, dude. Okay. Uh, probably that one where I was. <laughs> the first one. That first one, you know. But I had a couple more after that. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. And and the thing about it is, um, whenever sometimes when you bomb, oh no, nah. <laughs> let me tell you about this one. Oh, uh, yeah. oh. My, my first open mic. Right. Q had an open mic at this spot off of Greenville. I thought. I'm finna be a star. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was my first time getting on stage. Right. I had some of my friends come. They was videoing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, wow. the, you so know, you, was, was you, was, not, you was excited. Yeah, you was like, I'm excited. finna show my ass. Yeah, this is before the show. I was uh-huh. smoking. You know what I'm saying? Back when I used to smoke. You uh-huh. know, little, little, little killer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we were smoking in the car before. You know, I ain't thinking about my, my memory. You know, concussions and shit. You know what I mean? Okay. So, like, I was like, oh, okay. All right. So I thought I was good. Like, uh. all right. Went out there. <laughs> Man, <laughs> it was so different than what I thought. Because, look, I didn't know that you had, you know, I'm thinking you could go out there and just freelance comedy. Right. I ain't know uh-uh. that you need to have material you need to have set, material up. set up. No. Yeah. Now, I knew, you know, I had an idea of what I wanted to say and stuff right. like that. But 
I, mm -mm, I thought I was just going to go out there and be a star. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I went out there, and the stage wasn't like I planned it in my head. You yeah, know what I mean? Because, like, they had, yeah, they had music. It a... wasn't that much space to, yeah. to move. And, and in the little space that I was in, like, I'm pacing back and forth. Like, you know how you ever, you ever seen a dog looking for a place to use the bathroom? Yeah. That's, like, oh that's what God. I look like. <laughs> that's how I was, like, walking back and forth, and I couldn't remember my jokes. And <laughs> it, was, it was rough. That was my first time. And then, like, when you had your friends there, Cause mm -hmm. you want to show out for them. Yeah, you, you, you know, and then like I had a couple jokes, and then like I, you know, I tried to, you know, I was like, man, it, three minutes is a yeah, long time. time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, question Yo. for you mm -hmm. on that part when you brought your friends. Yeah, how did they treat you after that? After, after mm. you Look, bombed? after you bomb, like your friends, <laughs> you could tell the difference. You know how your friends act. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they was kind of like, all right, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so. You, what y'all want to do next? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. And you in the club? My, yeah, and then one of, my, one of my friends, he was like, uh, he was like, hey, you know what? Next time, I'm going to go up there first. And I'm going to be horrible. <laughs> so, so, like, trying to make me feel better. He was like, and then when you get up there, it'll, you won't be as bad as me. Wait a minute. <laughs> it don't make me feel better, bro. You know what I mean? And then one time I bombed, and I didn't, I didn't know. Well, it wasn't necessarily a bomb bomb. Like, that was a bomb. You know right. what I'm saying? But it wasn't mm. good. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it was one of my first. It was like my Dallas Comedy House showcase. Okay. And I thought, you know, sometimes you don't know that you bomb and you feel good about it. But yeah. then you, once you see how your friends is acting around, you're like, <laughs> all right, uh, so what are we going we gonna to go eat at yeah. this? What are we going <laughs> 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 to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, they looking. Okay. We're like, dang, I'm, like, you quit your job for this? Right. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? So and you quit, you, you quit, you quit your, your job for that. And, and, and the question I, I mean, want to know is, when y'all went out to Big eat, dreams. Did, they, uh, <laughs> did they even talk about it? No, no, okay. no, no. You kind of okay. avoided it. And then, like, it was some people that came in. <laughs> and I thought they was talking to me. I was like, huh? <laughs> like, uh -huh. I was like, they, like, they must have been at the show. Oh, they loved it. Oh, you wasn't. Oh, okay. Oh, that wasn't for me. And my friend was like, nah, they ain't even talking to you. They don't know you. I was like, oh, I thought they knew me from the show. Because we were just down the street. And I'm like, they could have been at the show. I didn't know. Somebody had told me they liked it. They know. Wait, so was you getting your stuff on video back then? Uh, Yeah, a little on, bit. A little bit? Was yeah. you? Do you record all your sets, like at least audio, audio. all the time now? Yeah, most or? of the time, audio. I, I take uh -huh. my phone on stage and right. just so I could listen back to the audio to see mm -hmm. where people was laughing at, you know what I mean, and see where, kind of like kind of like film as an right. athlete, you know what I mean? Like you right. go back and look and like, mm. okay, I could do this better. Right. So, yeah, so that's what I do. Okay. So how, what, well, at what point did you start doing that um, consistently? Consistently? Probably, mm, probably over the last year. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. probably over the last year. I be wanting to get video, but I mean, I don't be wanting to bother nobody, you know, and be like, hey, can you video this for me? You know, right. and you be hearing people talking uh. all around and, you know what I mean? Like, no, nah, let me just take this up on stage with me so I, yeah. can, I can just, you know, listen back to it and, okay. it, you know, get that a good audio. I think that's like the common the thing. Do you do that too? Yes. It's like, yeah, it's like around the board. But like people don't, people be learning late. Like yeah. I was like. Uh, two years in before I oh, even, really? before I even started doing it consistently. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I yeah, know, I do important. it consistently unless yeah. I know unless I know no somebody's doing you know what I'm saying doing a video that I can get you know and it's gonna be a good video. So right. like my last show, it was being professionally done, so I didn't right. even take my phone up there. And then I thought about it, I'm like, dang, I wish I still would have took it up it, there because while it sooner. I'm waiting on this, on this you can actually I can hear be it listening over back. Again. Yeah, so Sa was know. it Sam Brand? No. It was um actually uh Shed G. Shed G. Shed G. Oh nice. That's yeah. A, yeah, he, he, yeah, he, he, uh, yeah, that brother did gave me some some uh clean headshots. Oh yeah. Pause. Yeah, but he yeah. gonna yeah, he gonna do he gonna do some um some headshots for me too. We're gonna do some I just had some done. Right. And he was like, nah, we're gonna do some outside Side. so we get right. your personality mm -hmm. and you know, I'm right. like, all right, bet. Yeah. You know who you know who else does really good headshots? Uh the producer of this show actually, Amy Goki. Okay. She does amazing headshots. Yeah, Amy. she she's done work for uh people around the she does filming and stuff like that. Just yeah. you know, putting just it out there, America. Blood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, it's great. Yeah, no, Amy did some dope shots uh, for me at um, at Hyenas one night. So, yeah. And Fort Worth? Yeah, Fort Worth. Fort Worth. Oh, yeah, Fort that's, Worth. That's, mm -hmm. that's, right, that's where yeah. she got me at, too. Mm -hmm. I was like, what yeah. in the nah, world? Amy, yeah, Amy's dope. Yeah. She's got some dope shots. Thank you, beautiful. Thank you, Amy. All right, so we're going to move on in the questions okay. now. Okay. Yeah. The next question I wanted to ask you, Mrs. Alberta. Yeah. Who's your favorite comedian of all, all time, all generations? All time. I don't have one. 
What? I know it's weird. It's like a breaking a comedy law or something, but <laughs> 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 I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't even have one. Do you have like, a top five at least or mm, the Chris Rock top five? Not really. Nah. Like, I just... I just appreciate comedy. So, you know, I don't really try to rank anybody or, you know, just say that's my favorite. I like, you know, I just like certain people and, right. you know, d- different types of comedy. Comedy, you yeah. know. And styles. Like comedy, yeah, comedy. Like, I don't have a favorite, you know, musician. You know what I mean? Like, right. to yeah. me, I, I really reference comedy and, and music, you know, is kind of parallel in my mind. Because right. Because you got different genres. You know what I mean? You got some people like different, this type of music. Some people like, don't. And it's the same thing with comedy. Like, everybody's not going to like me, and I understand that, you know? Right. It's like, I don't like everybody's type of music, you know? So, right. I don't right. like everybody's music, but that ain't keeping him from being a millionaire. You know right. what I'm saying? Just because I, I don't like you. the way he rap. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah. I'm like, Taylor Swift like is me. popping right yeah, now. Yeah, like, you don't like me, that's fine. You're not stopping me from, from doing what I'm going to do. So, I got well, well, so what about influences then? Do you have any... Like people that influenced how you write your jokes just from watching them? Uh, not how I write my jokes. Um, just, you know who I I do like is uh is Dion Cole. Yeah, I like his delivery. You know what I mean? Like he he's super stupid to me. You know what I'm saying? Man, like he's, he's, yeah, he's he's so funny. Like and he's been funny for a long time. Like I remember back when he used to take the paper on stage. And yeah, like, yeah. And then say he was a joke like, and then be like. Yeah, five minutes. Yeah. He'll do five minutes out of a special. He'll bring the paper back. Yeah, right. exactly, so exactly. Did you, did you get a chance yeah. to watch like his, uh, his latest special? Uh, the one that came out like on, on Netflix. In, I think like a couple of months ago. Yeah, I did. I oh, did. A couple, I couple like months him. ago. Yeah, it was more, it wasn't what? it around New Year's or something. Or something like that. Like that. Yeah, yeah. It came out around like, and he did uh, his was different though. He did his to where Thanksgiving was it that? But it was this past year. No, I want to say it was earlier this year. That's what I want to say. But it might have been last year. But he did it to where everything's a blur for me. Right. You know. Because this, this crazy year, yeah, and the the way he did it was, uh, it was almost kind of like an open mic type of thing. It seemed like it to me, but he did like different parts of um, the shows that he did, and he was like, "Well, this is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna give you some jokes that I really haven't worked on yet, mm-hmm. but I just want to see how it go because y'all don't understand the process that we go to in order yeah. to get to these jokes." One? That was I want to say that's the, that's the latest one that I seen. I might not. And it's on that Netflix. One. It's on for Netflix sure. for sure. I, yeah, that's a lot. Because I like. Man, yeah, he went yeah. from different states, different stages. Yeah. And he just showed his butt. I'm gonna check that out. Yeah. Because I don't think I seen that one. I think I seen the other one. And I'm trying to think that one might have been the other year, like 20. I don't know. Yeah. 19 New Year's Eve. Because Cold Hearted was the last one. That that's I seen. the one. That's yeah. the one. When did that come out? Like last year or something. Okay, that's nah, the one I saw. One was, okay, you, I haven't seen that. I, I, I think this out. one is recent, y'all. I'm okay, just saying. Right, I got I'm Netflix it too. That's all I'm saying. Y'all. <laughs> He's like, and I, I got Netflix it. and yeah. I pay for it. It's you know on, what I'm saying? It's on my name. <laughs> that motherfucker's steady going up. It's on my name. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying, right? But bro, yeah. that's BS, bro. And then like, I like to watch Netflix in multiple rooms, and they just making that harder and harder. You like to watch it in multiple rooms? Yeah, like I have it on in my bedroom, but if I'm finna go and go cook or something. I'm going to put it on the, in the living room. Like, turn the TV, boom. I'm fried chicken and, and the boys. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. Next question, uh, please. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> where's your favorite place to... RJ is like, I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> where's your favorite... Oh, man. He I got one in the restroom, too. Where's the favorite place that you like to perform at? Um, I like man. to impro- I like to perform at uh the Arlington Improv. Oh mm. man, and congratulations! Thank I you, have. and I like I like hyenas too. The Red Room, that it's right. like a, I don't know, it's a it's a dope vibe in there for me in the Red Room. Like it's always like because it's I guess because it's so intimate. Right, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. red is my favorite color. You oh, know so what I mean? cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Crip gang, man. Uh, no. Man, don't Killers. get us hurt, man. Uh, yeah, but anyways, but yeah, no, and I'll be at the Improv today too, so. Um, okay. So I, I like I like that stage. I guess because I kind of, whenever they were doing open mics, I was up there so often, and right. it, that's where I met Derek Jack. You know what I right. mean? So it's kind of like home field for me. Mm-hmm. You know? Are you gonna be in uh, Arlington tonight, or are you gonna be in Addison? I'm gonna be in, in um, Arlington. I haven't actually performed at Addison yet. Ever? Okay. Nah, I wow. I've only done like a. Um, Open mic, they were doing like a workshop type thing. Up oh, there. build a bit. Yeah, build yeah, a bit. yeah. I've build been there. Yeah, on I've Sundays. been there one time. Yeah. yeah. So, well, how do you go yeah. about going getting on at the Arlington? They just put like somebody just put you on or whatever. I'm on Derry Jack and Friends. 
Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was at Arlington Thursday night with Shad G. He did a, a ladies' night. That ladies' night, yeah, yeah so that was that was real it nice. It was dope. I yeah, wish I could have seen it. Yeah, it was yeah. dope. It was a dope show. Anastasia, the bold. Uh, was uh, Angela, Angela Walker. Walker. That's my yeah, girl. Lisa Love. Man, um, uh, mm-hmm. Miss Personality came through and did a guest spot. So okay. it was dope. It was a dope show. That's what's up. Yeah. Lisa Love is a very nice person. I actually got to meet her working the door at Hyenas before. Yeah, she was hosting the show. She was like. But she was kind of mean. I had my mask on. <laughs> she kind of mean. She's a nice she person, nice. but she's kind of mean. She's nice, she's nice. I had my mask on. She's like, take that mask off. You look sick, boy. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, hey, she is real. Yeah, Lisa, Lisa Love is cool. She raw. You know, she's from yeah, Detroit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So she, oh, she got okay. that. Yeah, she got okay. that Detroit vibe. Got that Detroit flavor mm-hmm. there. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah. She's great, dude. Y'all yeah. done stole our Big D. We had to go to the Triple D now, Detroit. Yeah. I got to change that up. Yeah, we had to add two more Ds. You had to add two more Ds <laughs> to the y'all. D. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It was, you know what I'm saying? Big D. You know, yeah. Detroit done took it. It's okay, Detroit. How y'all doing? What's up, yeah. Detroit? It's all love. All love. Yeah. All love. All love. Nah, but it was dope, yeah. Anastasia the Bowl, have y'all heard of her? I, I heard, I heard she, of Anastasia. Yeah, she's like a legend around the, the, the Dallas At, area, yeah. Uh, uh, Angela Walker mm-hmm. was telling me about it. She said, you ain't never met her? I was like, yeah. no, I haven't had a chance to meet her Yeah, yet. it was great. So like, I was like, I really would like to meet her. Yeah, no, nah, she, she, she's funny. Like, you know, it's, it's mm-hmm. a different... Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Back to this. So, <laughs> so listen, listen. <laughs> <What's> uh, <you? laughs> oh. Look. I don't know what that means. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Back to Alberta, it. the exception. Yes. <laughs> what kind of comedic performances do you remember from your youth? Any kind of, you know, movies or yeah. stand-up comics that you liked? Oh. Okay. 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 Oh um, man, I'm sorry. Movies, movies that I like. Uh, movie, movies or uh, comedy in general. Oh, you know what? Com- um, you know. One that I remember coming up is, uh, and I, I like Martin. Martin is a, a sure. stand-up comedian that I I enjoy. Like I've seen him twice. And uh, oh, I'm hating. yeah, Lucky. nah, I'm dope. Hating. Like I, it was so like, man, like I don't even know, but. Uh, remember his uh, I remember his special from you know what I'm saying from back in the day you right. know what I'm saying crazy Durang you know what yeah, I mean like yeah, that was yeah, like yeah. he had on his little leather suit you know yeah. what I'm saying like leather outfit I like, remember when was, you came up out that dope. wall yeah that water that, glistening all oh, over your, your body. body yeah classic like, <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah so like I, I that was one you know what I mean so right. to be able to see him in person live like I'm oh, like man. I yeah man like I, yeah man it was dope I was like Man. Yeah, like that's Martin, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, and then his sitcom, like, you know what I mean? Like, that was like, if you grew up in the 90s, like, that was like classic. Like, those, so to see him, like, that, that's really somebody I really look up to, you know what I'm saying? Right. Gotcha. So I'm like, I gotta, gotcha. I'm, I'm gonna be on tour with him one day. Like, for that's real. what's up. You know what so that's you lied up. earlier. No, when I asked no. you who was your favorite comic. No, I didn't, I didn't say he's my favorite, but I do look up to him. Thank I, I like a lot of people. Thank you. Don't be. Yeah. Don't be. No, 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 no. Sometimes you gotta ask twenty yeah. minutes worth of questions before you get the answer I, to the question. Because I, I like Bernie Mac, you. and you know. Don't I worry about it, bro. I, I you. got you. We gonna, we gonna, man. I'm gonna throw a football. You know what I'm saying? We gonna just make him catch. Thank you. Look, I got the police on the phone right now. And he can't run. And he got. Oh man. You know, yeah. The police are outside now. Call them, sir. Doesn't. I don't need no. I got your insurance information. No smoke. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> got to stay good for another few months. At least. <laughs> yeah, she, she on probation. Remember she got the breathalyzer? <laughs> no, no breathalyzer, <laughs> please. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Check in. Now, this is the next question. Yeah. Um, what would you tell the uh, up-and-coming comedian about being into the comedy world? Um, I would say advice. Uh, I mean, what did you get? What one? advice? Yeah. Uh, be humble. <laughs> you know what <laughs> I mean? Like show love. You show love, you get love. You know what I mean? You come in here with an attitude, and you know people gone. It, the way that this thing is set up, you right. know, uh, it's pretty political. Uh, yeah. To be honest, you know what I mean. And I look, I'm not one to kiss nobody's butt. Um, but I'm just a friendly person, regardless. You know, what I mean? unless right. you show me something different, you know. Right. So, right. Um, so I just say, come in, be yourself. You know, right. don't try to be be nobody else. You know, and just be respectful, respect, respect the time that you're given on stage. Right. You know, you see yeah. a lot of people get up there and they that causes problems. You know, in yep. itself. So, yep. you yep. know, I definitely tell them be yourself. You know, but be respectful of of what every everybody else is doing around Wait, you. Do you got? Right. Do you have a story about uh, somebody running the light? Cause I, everybody got a story. <laughs> uh, I mean, I was I was on a show recently, and somebody you know just 
kept going, but she didn't. Know, and we was <laughs> at the improv too, and like you know, improv has the lights, time you up can't, there. You, it's it's time. That, that's one thing I like about the improv because you can see the time. Yeah. You so know that's what I mean? like you so got so much time. At the the, but that's the one in Arlington, though, right? Yeah, the one in Arlington. Okay, both so, of them do that. Oh, do yeah, they? but mm-hmm. the one in uh, the one in Addison is not. It's like off to the side. Yeah, oh, okay. it's you not know as what pronounced I'm right. So it's it's like it's off to the side. If you're on stage mm-hmm. at the, uh, in Addison, it's like off more to the right. Oh, okay. Like, like if you forgot, I like seeing the light. If you I, forgot, I mean, I like being able to see the time. But yeah, yeah no, nah, they was back there like, <laughs> like you know what I mean, like strobe lighting her like. <laughs> I was like, girl, you gon. Then she looked over in the corner. I was standing with celebrity. I love celebrity, celebrity too. Celebrity, awesome. celebrity. That's my dude right there. You know what I mean? Like he he's giving me some advice too. Right you know on. what I mean? And yeah, look. What? Yeah, 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 so yeah. Dope, yeah. I never seen him. Celebrity, dude. celebrity, so dope. Like Man, he, celebrity that dude, is. funny is funny. Like he, even just like his ad libs and just he's just funny in general. Just, like he's just naturally funny. He really know? is, and it's so, like to man to see it. And we we went. Uh, I think it was like a. Maybe a couple of, probably about two or three weeks ago, we mm-hmm. went, and he was at the Addison Improv, and he only he only had like five minutes, and I was like, why? Yeah. Because he was going, he was boom, 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 oh, boom, yeah. boom, hitting him like this. Hey. Maybe yeah. not. Maybe that was and his was, choice. I don't mm-hmm. know, bro. But it was, mm-hmm. it was. It's beautiful to watch him in motion and hit him yeah. because he's like this. Bah, bah, oh yeah. yeah. The whole yeah. time. You yeah. Yeah, he didn't gave me some game. Right. You know what I mean? And so I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I got a chance to to work with him. Like you know what I mean? He put me on some shows too. Mm-hmm. And but me and him was standing over there, and she was going, and she kind of looked we, we was like right in that little area where you could kind of where they come out the kitchen. Yeah. And she looked over there, and he was like, <laughs> you know what I mean? like get off the stage. And she was like, oh, okay, well let me wrap this up. But now she didn't see none of the strobe lights. Wait, so how long would you say? Or nothing. How long would you say she went over, man? Uh, probably about three minutes. Ooh. Yeah, probably that's about a whole nother set. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> but you know, and and sometimes like, and even like whenever yo, you could tell like the crowd is kind of fading out. You know right, what I'm saying? Like right. even then, like you know, right, going and look up, say, okay, well, how is it my time to go? You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. The crowd is not 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 with me right now. <laughs> Let me just go on and all right, that's my time. And they don't know how much time you got. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it was one of them things where it was just like kind of dragging on. Right. But like, well, that's so right. crazy that so like, well, she might have been new. She said she hasn't been. She's only been doing it for about a year. She was like, I didn't even know that was up there. I was like, Well, well because I, I people know. know, like comics will know. All right, I've got this joke, this joke, this joke, this joke. Yeah. This is four minutes. Yeah. And I'm if after I'm done with these jokes, it should be four minutes. I'm yeah. just gonna get off. Like, yeah. how do you like? Yeah, that's you know what I'm saying. That's a discipline. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. That's a discipline to know. Like, you know what I'm saying. Because yeah. because even with 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 me, like I kind of know like. All right, I'm getting close. Let me look up. You know what I'm saying. Right, like, right, you know, right. But, but I don't know like. All right, when I do this set of jokes, that's that's three minutes and right. twenty seconds. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I don't, like, like, but I want seconds. to. Like that's one of my goals is like yeah. to know, like okay, you know. So if somebody say, "Hey, you got three minutes," like all right, I'm gonna go on and bust this joke out. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, yeah. But no, I'm not. I'm not there yet. You know what I'm saying? But I but I do have a feel for you know. Normally, if I'm you know if they if you, you tell can, me you I got seven minutes, it. like you can okay, yeah, I need to cut these jokes out so they didn't just pop these off. You know what I mean? But uh, but yeah, some people not there yet, you know. So I got you, but but, but that's a learning process. It is. Too. It is. Wait, your process. jokes are? Do you have like a lot of long jokes too, or short jokes? Um, or? I have I have some a little bit of both. Yeah. Pretty much my whole set though is it kind of it's almost like a it's not a story, but it it all kind of can. There's run like together. a narrative. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I, I know I got a starting point and I know where I want to end. You know what I mean? So I got right. so much information I want to give you about myself. You know right. that, so that's kind of how I how I do my jokes. I actually uh, I actually want to do a sitcom one day. You know, so I I've had to. Um, you better, you better keep that to yourself now. Yeah, well, <laughs> oh. you know, that's yeah, right. you got to keep that with you. You know, right, you know right, that, that might be a five sitcom. Hold huh? on to that. Baby. Oh no, yeah, oh, we'll hold see. On to yeah, that yeah, one. yeah, you're right. Hold, you're hold right, on to that right. one. You got to hold, hold on, on to that one. Nobody about to sitcom. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. They don't know what I'm talking about, though. They don't mm-hmm. know what this was. You did that to yourself, sugar. Okay, all right. I might steal it, but now, see that? All right, but I would like to hear about it off the off off the mic. All right, all right, okay, okay, all right. Yeah, because you know, well, I was just gonna say. That whenever I'm writing jokes, sometimes I I be in sitcom mode and I okay. have to realize that hey, you need to say that for that. Mm. You know right. what I mean? And you know, so and I learned that from actually reading the the comedy Bible. 
And you know it, where she talks about. Have y'all heard of the comedy box? I've heard of it. Yeah. 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 All right. So yeah. So I just really started reading it, and it, and it's like okay, you categorize your jokes. You know, what I mean, you got your stand up jokes, and you got you know this types of jokes, and you got you know jokes for if you're sitcom you know what i mean if you're a writer huh. i'm a writer so i'm like oh dang you know what i be the way that i be structuring these jokes some of these are actually for sitcom right you know oh, what i mean so okay. i need to pull these out and not use those so that i can go ahead and you know just flow huh. you know like that yeah okay i like that that yeah. i was gonna have to start thinking about that i never thought about that <laughs> no, yeah. For real. never thought about yeah because yeah because i mean that's how i write i end up writing like okay this is an introduction of me you know what i mean and okay. then like i actually yeah. got a, a next chapter you know what i mean for whenever i start my new set of jokes okay it's you know it's building because it's uh, it's all buildings for you know Later that in mind right because yeah. yeah. you get so far with comedy somebody gonna be like well, i want you to write some jokes you know yeah. right right okay yeah. yeah okay okay so the next question is which i kind of already know uh what mm. part of texas you're blah, 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 blah. what part of texas are you from um and mm -hmm. sorry um uh, Man. And have I been here all my life? Girl, look at him. <laughs> well, I can read mine. What? Uh, yeah, you is awesome. Yeah, I ain't. Uh, yeah, so, I'm scared of you now. <laughs> so, I ain't got mind tricks, baby. I'm not messing with so, you now. Well, um, I'm not originally from Texas, but I've been here the longest okay. consecutively. I've been here for like 24 years. Okay. Uh, mm. Since I was 14. Okay. You know, 25. 25 years. Okay. Yeah. Since I'm 39. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so I've been wow. here, you know, most of my life. But I'm from originally from Oklahoma slash Alabama. Oh, so, yeah. What part of Oklahoma? Uh, McAllister is where I was born, and then I lived in Broken Arrow, which is the suburbs of Tulsa. Went to okay. go there before I moved back here. How well, many black here. people was there? It was a lot. I don't know. Not a lot though. Not <laughs> oh, a lot. Yeah, because I've been there before. Man. Yeah. I saw which part? Broken Arrow? No, Jenks. Oh, Jinx! Yeah, that was that was a big rivalry uh, town. But no, I ain't a lot of white. I mean, I ain't a lot of black people in Jinx though. Man, I saw I saw that boy at Five Guys. I was like, this this where you go to? <laughs> yeah, nah, it, it's, it's it's not a lot of black people in yeah. Jinx, Oklahoma. Okay, yeah. all right, all right. That's what's okay. up, Miss Alberta, yeah. the exception. Let me let me ask you something, man. Let's talk about open mics. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about open mics, man. You go you go to them still, Mister Mrs. <laughs> Big Professional Lot? Uh, honestly, um, I don't get to a lot of open mics yeah. the way my schedule is. I just I really been blessed where, um, whenever I'm on a show, mm -hmm. um, it. It never fails, and really, when I when I go and do a show, I feel like I'm I, I look at it as if I'm auditioning, right. you know what I mean for my next my next my next show, you know what I'm saying. So I'm trying to get booked, you know. So I go out there and you know with the intention of putting myself out there so that somebody sees me and is like, hey, you know what, I want to do a show with you. If I don't meet that goal, then I'm like, dang, you know what I'm saying. I gotta right. step it up the next next you know the next um, show. So that's really how my shows have been flowing. So okay. I do a show and somebody sees me that didn't know about me and they're like, oh my god, I want you to be on the show with me. And it just it's a snowball. Okay, okay. Sunday oh. Dusties. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, we got those. Uh, no, but, no, keep talking. Okay. Keep talking. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, those are the uh, open mics going on. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. seeing that you like. Okay. No. Yeah. <laughs> See. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Well, but, I haven't been but, to those. Okay. The next no. question would be uh, smokes and jokes. Yeah. You been to Smokes and Jokes? I think is that the one? Is that Anastasia's? Um, is that, oh, yeah, that's the yeah, one that's in Oak Cliff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I've been to that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, which I'll one your favorite? What's your What's your favorite? Well, one, I guess it'll be that one because that's the one that I, you know, have that's recently cool. attended. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Anastasia the Bold. I, I, me and her, she good people. Yeah. So. I haven't met her yet. Man. I have been to um, also um, Hyenas, the one out in Plano. Oops. Yeah, Plano the one for, Plano. for uh, yeah for uh, they closed, they closed down. down. Oh, yeah. No, they don't do it no more. No. The whole the whole Plano club is gone. Gone. Shut up. The building it ain't even there. No. They done picked it up and ran with it. How'd they do that? Okay. Look, man. No, nah, they didn't do that. But <laughs> no. next we're gonna talk anymore. about next we're going to talk about the do's and don'ts of comedy. Now you brought this up earlier. Mm -hmm. You definitely don't want to run your light. Yeah. You definitely, you know, you want to record your sets. What else? What's what else? Okay, uh, you want to be my uh, one thing that I, I'm trying to work on. Like whenever I have a microphone and uh, and it, I like wire. I like wireless mic mics better. You right. know what I mean? I do because right. I always end up playing with the cord. That's you know what, what I do. <laughs> <laughs> and, and like, so don't play with the cord. You know no. what I mean? Like, celebrity was like, hey, look at look back at your video. You know what you gonna see? Yeah, don't play with the cord. He's like, he told me he was like, just kind of. He told me to uh, to stretch it out right. and get as much as you want, and then 
kind of toss it, toss right. the rest of it in front of you so that you have enough room to, to move yeah. like you want. So there's a there's a doing don that's from yeah. celebrity. To I got you. I got you. Because I, mean? I do. Mm-hmm. I play. Right. I be playing with the cord. I don't yeah. even realize it. You know. Yeah. What I mean? I'll be you spanking it. I'll be like. I'll, psh, psh. See, I, don't, I don't be lassoing. <laughs> I don't be lassoing or nothing like that. That's not what I do. Uh, but, uh, I do. Okay, so well, no. What about you though? What What would you say about the well, do's and don'ts? No, because I did the same thing. I did the same thing like how you did. I played with the chord and everything. Yeah, didn't realize it. And I was like, "What in the world?" And I didn't notice until, like you said, till you actually recorded. And you're like, "Okay, I got to cut it out." And yeah. when you have comedians, that's like, "Hey, bro, leave that chord alone." I'm like, "What are you talking about?" Because uh, I, I would take mine and wind it up. You, were, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because yeah. I was so nervous, nervous of being up there, and I yeah. was like, "But you but lucky though, because ain't nobody happen. told me that." Uh, and nobody told you that. I do it every time. Has nobody oh. not ever told me oh, that? Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, well, there I'm you sorry. go. I was that, able to get you some game. See? Look at that. Yeah, see? I and, got you. Uh, yeah, it worked out. Appreciate uh, that, uh, Miss man. Exception, I got a friend of mine. He's starting out. Yeah. And he was asking me, you know how we do. He asked me questions and everything else. Yeah. And he's like, hey, brother, what can I do, uh, you know, so I can change this and how I do better? I said, man, don't hold on. Leave the court. I don't do that. And you he does the same thing. <laughs> you do the same thing. thing. You he got a video. Yeah. Oh, show I do. I yeah, get, show them. Yeah, yeah. I get them all the time. Yeah, that's why I do with my players. I, I'm a coach too. You know what I'm saying? So I, I coach DBs for my for my my team, the Texas League. Nice. Smarties. Okay. Yeah. So so, so yeah. So, so you I, still playing football? Or are you just no, coaching? I don't. Yeah, I'm just coaching. I'm a okay. DB coach. Yeah. Uh, WNFC. Check us out. See? Wait. So the pro, they make money. They support a pro Not league. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's coming. It's coming though. But yeah. Okay. So the next question you. would be, yeah. uh, Mr. Garvey, what would be your next show coming up? Uh, my next show coming up is today at four o'clock, Arlington Improv, uh, Derek Jack and Friends. Yeah, it's going down. Yeah, you excited okay, for this one in I particular am. or what? No, yeah, cause um, yeah, I'm back at the Improv, so I love being at the Improv. And that's your home, right? Yeah, and I got yeah. some people coming that haven't seen me. Um, you know what I mean? They haven't seen me either. They haven't seen me in a long time, or they haven't seen me. Period. And I love that. You know what I mean? Cause one, if you seen me a long time ago, I've gotten so much better. Right. I can't mm-hmm. wait to show you. You know what I mean? Right, I can't wait right. to show you the growth. You know what I mean? And right. Me too. You ain't never seen me, bam! These jokes are all new to you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They so, gonna, and, 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 and they're gonna it's love like it. It's like the first time, so you've been a laugh hard. Yeah, so that's what I'm like, talking yeah. about. Well, I got a question for you, uh, Alberta. Are white people allowed? In the Arlington <laughs> Improv, because I was under the impression that it was just all chocolate, chocolate. No, city. Atlanta. Yeah, absolutely. We love everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Atlanta. <laughs> no, everybody's welcome. We love everyone. So please mm-hmm. do come and, uh, and White enjoy people. the uh, and everyone else. Hispanic you know? people, everyone. Japanese. Yep. You know, I did a show where it was like eight Japanese people in the back, and they was just not having Oops. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you might, yeah. Did you go about your ur- urugato? I said arigato, and they oh, said, no. "Oh, boy, they oh, they like, boy, you don't know what that means. You, <laughs> some, <laughs> you gonna have some spirits up in here? <laughs> For real, like, cast yeah. spells. Yeah, yeah, yeah spells. Don't do that one." Oh, oh that's crazy, man. That is what's up. Yeah, you yeah. got anything what's else? Up? Uh, oh, yeah, I got a couple other shows too yeah, coming up. Got, and, uh, hyenas, um, hi, I'm gonna be back in Hyenas, uh, Fort Worth. Okay. Uh, Red Room next month okay. on the 19th and 20th, and uh, then I got another show at Rudy's. Uh, Rudy's. On the 20th. Rudy uh, Ramsey. Oh, February. Yeah, February 27th. Yeah, 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 yeah. Both y'all in there. Come on now. Yeah, that's what we all all three of. I was supposed. To, I, Man, I wanted to get on. I didn't get on there. Uh, oh no, no, because I had some. Womp, womp, womp. Where did we get? Where did it? Yeah, there it is. Okay, on that day, ma'am, on the 27th, I will be at Hyenas. Oh, that's dope. For work. See, thank you, boo boo. Kill it, kill it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. But yeah, people can follow me to keep up with my shows, Birda B24, um, on IG or Twitter. Um, and then I'm on Facebook too. You can look up Alberta the Exception. Okay. I got you. I got you on yeah. there, baby. I got you on there. Because I know, tripped out when I seen you tackle that money. You know what's funny <laughs> about that uh, about that show, about Rudy Ramsey's show? Mm. It's a. Oh, you know what? Don't it's tell a, it's it. an all black show, man. Yeah. And yeah, now that's going to be that's gonna be great. Yeah. That's going to be cool. Because nah, because nah, 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 nah. What? Cause I have never been on an all black oh, show. Really? I don't get to do the Arlington Improv. Yeah, I have no, never I been. I haven't got on an all black show before. I done a. Uh-oh. You done? You done it before? I, 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 no, I haven't done his, but I've done an all black show. And how was that? What was like? The, is there a difference when there's like an all like a when it's tailored? All black crowds. 
Yeah. All black crowds are really difficult. It's, they can be really difficult. They are. Like, if you ain't coming with it quick, it's, they yeah. going to look at you. It's, it's, man, it's, I don't even know how. You can describe it better, better, better than I can. I right, don't know how to describe it. Well, we got an hour, right? We do an hour on the show, don't we? And it's, uh, you know, it yeah. is uh, oh. catastrophic. Yeah. Yeah, so, oh, okay, um, so we yeah, we got a lot of time to talk oh, okay, about cool. these, these oh, black yeah. shows. Yeah, um, well, we ain't got that much time left. Ain't, look, look, look well, you know what, let's pause. Ain't We ain't talking about nothing else. Ain't nothing else to talk about, man. We got 10 minutes. Cantankerous. This is cantankerous right now. Ah, I'm just cantankerous. cantankerous. I'm over here trying to, for 10 minutes, produce <laughs> talking about, ah, 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 ah. I got 10 minutes in here. I'm throwing papers now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the I'm, I got a suit on. I got a suit on in here now. Some more papers. To, I got more. Throw that. Throw papers. Papers Katankerous. now. Katankerous. Okay. Tired of this. Katankerous. Alberta. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us, man. Tell us. You want to know about the black crowds? I want to know about the black okay. crowds, man. Yeah, no, black crowds. Hey, listen. It's uh, if you if you don't start out fast, it's gonna be a long set. You know what okay. I'm saying? So you kind of you gotta get <laughs> you gotta get right to it. You know, right. and 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 once you but once you do like break that and. Uh-huh. Make them make them laugh. Get that first laugh out there, then you and good. they vibe with you. Right. Yeah, then you then you good. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, but you gotta earn that trust at first. You know, because at first they like you gotta make a black crowd be know that you're funny. You know what I'm saying? Because at right. first you automatically not funny whenever you in front of a black crowd. Like you gotta earn that. So mm. when you first start out, this mug ain't funny. Let me see if they gonna make me laugh. They ain't funny, huh? Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh, <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh, she's stupid. She's stupid. You know what I mean? So, right. This is like oh okay yeah nah, so you got to go in and, but okay. you got to be confident like cuz I had right. one show that I I wasn't like cuz I wasn't feeling the atmosphere you right. know what I'm saying it was cold and we was, was back there by the door out or something or it was what? Pretty, they were smoking weed in there like yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, Ooh, hey, yeah that ain't thugged out for you you know what I'm saying but so I wasn't comfortable you know what I'm saying but not because of the weed I'm, that's fine yeah yeah but yeah. Where we where they had a setup and then the way that the lights were set up, it wasn't really a, a real stage. So it's like you're not lifted up so that everybody can see you. Yeah. And yeah. I do I do a lot of um I'm I'm really animated, so right. I be you know, so some of my stuff I was like, dang, like they're not gonna be able to see me and then they turned the lights out in there and it's like they where you was at, it wasn't like a good spotlight. It was just like a a room, you know what I mean? Right, yeah, like I so, they, so everybody couldn't see you, and I do facial expressions, so, so I just like they kind of got that. in my head, you know what I mean? So, so I got up there, and I wasn't real comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Whenever I got up there, so I started out, and and you could, you could, they could feel your energy if you're not confident with it, yeah. then it's it's like blood and water, you know what I'm saying? So it's like you got to try and bounce back. Now I bounced back, but I didn't like the way I started out, you know what I'm gotcha. saying? So yeah, and I'm an athlete, you know, at heart, so right, you know, like. If yep. you have a bad game, you thinking about that uh, the whole way home, the right. next day, all the way until you get an opportunity to yep. to show yourself, prove yourself again. Right. So like that really bothered me, you know what I'm saying? That show, so it ended up turning out fine, right? But I didn't like the way it started out, so that really, you know what I'm saying, got in my head, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but yeah, yeah. with a black, sh- you gotta you gotta get out there quick, you know what I'm saying, and and be confident, you know, and just show that you're not intimidated at all. How long okay. did it take? Like, did you have to do a show? Before you had learned about, you know what I'm saying, or like, um, or do you have to tailor your set to the room, or you anything don't necessarily like that? have to tailor your set. It's more your your presentation. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just right. really just being on being, point. Being on point. Yeah, mm-hmm. you gotta be on point. You gotta be quick with it, and you gotta be really conf- confident. With confident it. within you know, yourself. Yes, because anytime that I, I've noticed, anytime that I've been in front of a black crowd and I was nervous, you know what I'm saying? Like it they it, it, it affected. Yeah, yeah, it's like. <laughs> like, yeah, they take, take your, your whole soul, soul you know, yeah. take your soul <laughs> so so like just so i was really aware of that this last show because i knew okay. it was going to be a pretty pretty much of a, a, a black crowd you know right. with the shed g show right and so i walked the room saw what i had you know what i mean like it's kind of like it's kind of mm. like doing your homework almost yeah, right? yeah you're yeah. looking around like okay you got to get a get a fi- uh, feel okay yep all right you mm. know and i didn't do that at that at that other show you know what i'm saying right. i didn't walk around i just would kind of just the one the with back. no stage yeah the one yeah. with no stage you know i didn't right. just kind of walk around i like to kind of you know speak to people you know what i'm saying yeah, see and how just, they doing it yeah, just, you know, yeah. good, good feedback yeah and vibes just, you know yeah vibes yeah right. so 
Um, so yeah, so I made sure that I did that. Walked around, like okay, made sure. And when I got up there, I felt man, I you was so that, yeah, comfortable and yeah. and confident. It was like because you knew the people ripped them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean. I just walked around and just got that vibe. It was like okay, all right, this is gonna be all right. And then I then I got my zone. Like I don't really like to talk until like them few minutes 10 minutes before my show before i mean before i get on stage yeah. i like to be focused you know what and i'm being, saying like yeah i like to be yeah. in my zone because you know i'll talk to you up before then but right then I, i'm like pacing back and forth i'm yeah. like you're going get my your, mind yeah. right like getting, yeah because yeah. you got to yeah. jump out there fast with those jokes so mm -hmm. you know so i like to be prepared so I'm, I get off to myself, you know, and then I'll, you know, just kind of just go through. Okay, go through your let mental. me hit. Let me hit my first jokes, you know. And mentally, I'm saying, I'm like, okay, all right, this is what I'm gonna say first. Bop, bop, bop. And then, so when I get out there, then it flows, and I'm ready, you know. So, yeah. yeah. I was gonna I ask that. Richard. Uh, you ever been on a show like how she explained, like you thinking that it's going like it'll be gonna be a regular comedy show, blah blah blah. But you get there and the setup's weird. Everything's different, not happening like you thought it was gonna be. Like, yeah, you ever been in that situation? Yeah, how'd you take Did it mess up your performance? Or? Oh, hell yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Oh, hell yeah. Tell us the because, story because I know y'all been in longer than I have. I'm going into like my second year, oh. mm -hmm. and I was really excited. Uh, it was all uh, all black crowd. I was like, okay, hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and kill these cats and everything else. Mm -hmm. And it did not go like you thought, it <laughs> did not go. And I didn't do what I normally do the same thing 10 minutes. I I had to get to myself, but I didn't do it. Mm -hmm. I'm talking around yeah. everything else. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was talking to people earlier, but I'm more of here as a uh, audience member instead of a comedian. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, hide, I was hiding. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I was in that crowd instead of being the comedian that's finna get ready to go up. Yeah. And this sucked the oh, whole but, life out yeah. of me. And I was just. Yeah. No, I will. It will. Like, it's it's important for me to to, you know, have that time to myself. Like, I mean. Like hyenas has a, a door in between the door, before, a little space in between doors. Whenever you walk in mm -hmm. and you know go into the room, so mm -hmm. I like to get in that in that area right there, and I just you know walk and just get my mind right. You know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and you know so that I could be focused. Because then then I'm like okay, bam. Now you know I'm what I'm saying? I'm, 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 in, I'm in I'm in the vortex. You know what I'm yeah. in the vortex. <laughs> I got my you know vibration what I'm up. Saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm on, the, yeah. I'm on the right frequency, and and and, and you know and and I'm vibing. I can be a light now. You know, and so. it shines. Yep. Oh man, this is great. This is great. We, you know what? We loved having you on. Thank I you. Really I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Guys. Thank Thanks you for coming. Harvey. This has been Thank very Richard. great. It's been a pleasure. Uh, she said Richard like she really <laughs> likes me. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. <laughs> Thank you, Verna. Thank you, Garvey. <laughs> well, you know what, guys? Thank you. Thank you very much for joining the after show. If you want us to come see your show, all you got to do is invite us. Email us. We've got our handles on the stage there, guys. Uh, if you have comments, just put your comments below the video. If you have questions, if you want to sponsor us, because sponsorship is amazing, right? Because our show runs off of donations, and we don't have any sponsors yet. So we would like to, to get you guys on our side, because you love what's going on here, don't you? It's funny. It's great. Uh, you can help us out by just, you know... Going to the Cash App, uh, dollar sign Goki Amy. That's dollar sign G O K E Y A M Y. Or you could just uh, spot, you could donate to our anchor. That has it. It has it set up like that. You know, for future podcasts and stuff. Thank you guys very much. This has been the after show. Don't you do your hands? Do your hands? <laughs> Don't you? Don't you? <laughs> Ha <laughs>